Hi everyone, this is Andrea Dombecki from Angel Life Makeover, and you can find me at angelfairyhealing.com. I have a lot of new exciting things going on. I just released my Angel Life Makeover Core self-healing program that will be available starting April 5th. I will be releasing the first increments of that, but that is a self-study program where we will be working with core aspects of our life. It's a six part series and I'm excited to release that. I've also been doing lots of work with the fairies. I just released the Spring Fairies package and the Spring Fairies class and I've been enjoying all the birds and squirrels and the new flowers that have been blooming. So let's take a moment now to check in with ourselves. The theme of today's podcast is releasing the old and embracing the new. Um, This is a major theme for us and it's very hard for us to let go sometimes, but it's very beneficial because as we let go of the old, as we let go of the worn out things in our life, we make space for the new things that are a better vibrational match for us. Um, And that means new jobs, new relationships, new living situations. That also means letting go of old possessions. It might be old cars, old clothes, junk that you've been holding on to. It's just time to shed that baggage and really admit to us what no longer serves us and have the courage to release that and open the door to the new, create that vacuum to the new. So let's take a moment to check in with our heart and soul and just call in the angels to connect with us. Our guardian angels are here all our spirit guides, and we're just taking time to look at what we are letting go of and just take a moment to consciously release, consciously let go of what no longer serves us and trust that new amazing things are coming in, new relationships, new opportunities. Just trust that as we let go, we make space for the new because I feel sometimes we don't want to let go because we're afraid that the things we let go of won't be replaced and then we hold on for dear life and believe me, I do this also. So I'm really letting go, letting go of everyone and everything and just living in the oneness and just being free releasing all sense of constriction, holding on, releasing that within your body, within your chakras, and just embracing the fact that you are safe. You are safe within the evolution of life, within the continuous flow of the universe, which is ever expanding into goodness. This is your true nature. Feel that energy expanding from within you, the energy of your soul, which is unending, continuously giving, continuously creating, and continuously receiving the beauty of life. So I'm just gonna bring in some comforting angel energy to release any grief or heartache over the things that we are letting go of. And just saying a prayer that we effortlessly and easily let go of those things. They also may may be old concepts, maybe concepts about life that that no longer serve you. Maybe you wanna let go of all those concepts or maybe you wanna let go of um, some grudges that you've been holding on to too. Let's let go of like those those things also. Let go of anything that is holding you back from your complete happiness, your innocent joy, and your ability to receive the life of your dreams. Any lack of confidence beliefs, any worn out stories about your past, about where you've been, about who you are. Let go of all that and just know that you have a clean slate. You are living in the now, you are blessed. And as you follow your divine inspiration, you are always on the path to the life of your dreams. And this is an amazing concept that I was meditating on because I feel like at at times in my life, I've strayed off my path, definitely. I've tried to conform. I've tried to suppress who I was. I've tried to suppress my truth. I've tried to lie to myself and actually made myself miserable. I made myself guilty. I was filled with inner conflict. And I've gotten smarter in just embracing and surrendering to who I am and my path and just letting the things fall away or fall apart that are meant to and realize there is always a greater order. And I do believe once we start to surrender to that and embrace that, our intuition will always lead us back onto our right path. So let's take a second to listen to that intuition that is always leading us towards our greatest good, towards our highest and best destiny, 
and just listen to what that voice tells us. It might be to embrace your life purpose on a deeper level before. It may be to simplify your life in certain ways. I mean, really, you know what you have to do. We get in such a pattern of pretending that we don't know. We get in such a pattern of just kind of, you know, denying our truth about what we want to do in life and where we want to be. And there's many reasons we do that. Maybe we fear we are not good enough or we can't achieve it. Or maybe we lack the confidence in our own selves or in our intuitive guidance. So I'm here to help you strengthen that intuitive guidance, straighten that soul path. And really the energy this year I feel is about us stepping into our unique destiny because the world needs our individuality. The world needs our unique gifts exactly as they were created. We are perfect. So if there's any part of you that you've been denying or suppressing, release that now and release any self-esteem or self-image issues regarding who you are and what you are meant to achieve. Guilty of, you know, putting myself down. Maybe I'm silly or what I believe in is weird or maybe my destiny is not good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I can't achieve the things that I dream of. Um, Believe me, we all feel those things. It's all part of the process. So send yourself some love and compassion and really embrace the fact that You can succeed on your own terms and you can live a glorious life and be true to yourself. And that goes back to really asking, what do you really want to achieve? What is your message to the world? What is that burning desire within you? What is it saying to you? What does it want to create? What does it want to be? What does it want to bring? What does it want to achieve? Because sometimes we lose touch with that passion. We lose touch with that clarity. And, And today we're really working with the angels to reawaken that energy and to get in complete alignment with our soul and our soul leadership. It's really exciting. I feel the newfound leadership and confidence energies with me, and I feel safer on earth more than ever. Um, I think we're just on a huge path of self-exploration in this life, and we need a lot of love and patience for ourselves. Because sometimes I feel like I've taken steps back, and I've really realized that It's just all about love, patience, and having a really good attitude. And of course, I'm a big believer in working on myself in any way that I can through yoga, through meditation, through energy healing, through writing, whatever way you can help to evolve yourself, keep yourself well-adjusted on earth is great. And I believe that everybody is different. Uh, Different things work for different people. So I always say, know thyself, know what works for you. Know what makes your heart sing. Know how to nurture yourself and care for yourself. And most of all, stay grounded within your inner truth and care for yourself and your emotions and your needs. All right, so I'm giving you guys a big blessing on releasing the old, bringing in the joyous new and believing that the life of your dreams is possible and knowing that you could be happy right now. No matter what, you can be happy right now. You can choose happiness. You can create happiness. And it's very important to hang in there because we do go through ebbs and flows in our life of, you know, ups and downs, happiness, sadness, loss. But when we look at the greater picture, Our spirit is always in a state of eternal love and eternal perfection. And we want to get in touch with that energy of our higher self, of our eternal spirit, and then bring that grace into our physical existence. So I'm sending you lots of blessings for beautiful new beginnings. Release the old. I suggest maybe people do prayers or ceremonies to release the old or physically release the old from your house. Simplify your life and really get in touch with what really works for you. This is Andrea Dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com. Check out my website. I have lots of classes on angels, fairies, unicorns, and self-improvement. I also offer private sessions through phone and email. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.